moving again. Warning! Earthquake in progress! You were correct, Ashley. Something very large is moving underground. Warning! Multiple energy emissions around us! The earthquake must have activated a number of Anorex bioanomalies. Maybe this underground creature is spreading the Anorex infestation. Can you track to where it's moved? Affirmative. It has moved further north again. Warning! I am tracking multiple groups of creatures moving in our direction. We are surrounded. Those energy emissions, they must have caused that. Under attack. Threat eliminated. Ashley, I have marked the locations of the recent energy emissions. You may want to investigate them. I'm not sure if we have time for that. If we do it, let's be quick about it. There's nothing here. One of the energy eruptions came from these coordinates. Maybe we should check the area with the geo scanner. Good idea. There might be something remaining underground. It's just a resource cache. Nothing spectacular. What do you think we are looking for? Can you tell me what you learned about Anorix on Orion? The Anorix that I've seen there was primarily in the form of glowing red crystals. However, I think that its appearance can change depending on the local environment and some other unknown factors. Some of the Anorix infected creatures that we have seen here included crystalline growth on their bodies. However, their color palette was mixed. That might suggest that the Anorix that we are observing here could behave in a different way to what you have seen on Orion. Let's hope it's less dangerous. Either way, those infected creatures acted as if they were feral. So even if it's less dangerous, it still poses a great threat to the local ecosystem. Another Anorex bioanomaly. I think we should get rid of them. They could be corrupting the local fauna. I agree, Ashley. Be careful, bro. We always get attacked when we activate them. My sensors detected intense neutrino bursts at the same time that we've observed these energy eruptions. Why do you think this happens? I don't understand why this is happening. 
neutrino emissions usually accompany nuclear reactions, like beta decay or nuclear explosions. The amount of neutrino particles that were emitted by Anorix doesn't correspond to anything that humanity ever has observed in nature. It's like a pocket supernova. That's why I thought it could be Anorix. That makes sense. My sensors were overloaded by those emissions. They were off the scale by orders of magnitude. This bioanomaly is larger. We should prepare before activating it. Good idea, Ashley. We can set up mines and sentry guns around it. Some temporary walls might also be a good idea. Base is under attack. One of our buildings was being destroyed. Connector has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Base is under attack. We've cleared all of the energy eruption sites. Let's get back to our main objective. Ashley, wait a moment. Do you have a theory on why Anorix is connected to these huge neutrino bursts? I have my own personal opinion on this, but there is no proof for it. I think that Anorix can interact with the environment on a subatomic level and transpose individual atoms into other forms of matter by rearranging fermions, bosons, or some other elementary particles. Such reactions would normally emit enormous amounts of destructive energy. However, Anorix reacts in a different way. It consumes that energy and grows upon it. The only trace it leaves is a burst of neutrino particles. That is a very disturbing theory. What you are describing sounds like a cancer, but for both living and non-living matter. These are just my thoughts. I've encountered this substance only once. It doesn't have to work like that on this planet. It might even be something completely different. Either way, we can't ignore that threat.
been dropped. We can try to recover it later. Technology has been developed. New blue. Research completed. Prints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Under attack. <laughs> 